History was made on February 28, 2016, when Pakistan's first all-girl band hit the airwaves and took the country by surprise. Celebrities, music fans and social activists from the country and beyond shared and talked about this piece of history. But how did it all start? Of course, with an Nescafe. Your heart's on, is that what devils do? Took you so long. Despite lower spends and weaker affinity, the brand wanted to create and increase top of mind awareness through meaningful connections with the youth. Hence, resonating with this youth who is digitally savvy and outspoken, and making them converse about Nescafe as a brand were the biggest challenges. It is perceived that Pakistan is amongst the most dangerous countries for women, but most of it is perception-based. Therefore, through Nescafe's music platform, Nescafe Basement, we promise to unearth musically talented young girls and form Pakistan's first all-girl band and try to change the perception of women in Pakistan. For this purpose, a first-of-its-kind musician recruit drive was launched. After hundreds of auditions of girl musicians, we recruited not one, but three vocalists, a violinist, a ukulele player, a pianist, a drummer, a tabla player, a sitar player, and a bass player. And finally, Pakistan's first ever all-girl music band was created. Together, they reimagined John Newman's Love Me Again in Nescafe Basement's Jam Room. And as their cover was put on air across 42 television and FM channels and on Facebook and YouTube, it transcended boundaries, creating conversations about Nescafe's groundbreaking initiative. And the world took notice. Even John Newman took notice. Thus, this not only created exciting possibilities for young girls of Pakistan as the brand was able to hit a chord with the youth, but also created history and changed perceptions. Yeah.